do you want to see? Maybe um, Theo and Audrey might want to carry one. Can you guys yeah, help them? Yeah, give them yes, one. you can have the one. Kids. Good job. No, I wouldn't give that up. If oh, you get tired, her, I'll take it. Let her do it, man. It's the only way to learn is by doing it, experiencing it. That's all. Raven's going to interview. He has an online streaming uh, news channel. So he wanted to give us an opportunity. So I guess I can just talk about it now. Yeah? I can be on the news. Yeah, you want to be on the news? Come over here. <laughs> <laughs> now he wants right. to participate. Well, Theo, yeah, show him your face. So this is Theo. This is my face. <laughs> hey, Theo, look at the camera when you say that. I'm face. All right, there he is. I think climate change is bad. Yeah, no, thank no, you. no, we're going to kick you out of our parade. No, bad. climate change is bad. bad. We're trying oh, to mitigate oh, okay, it. Okay, that's okay. the right idea. I like pollution. Save our planet. That's what right. we're going to do today yes. is we're going to kick off a campaign to extinct water bottles you are great. before they extinct us. And so we'll be doing a funeral for the water bottles. We'll be listening to some music. We'll Wait, talking. hold that prop up again. i got to get a picture. I love the little I'd like to do a pop song so this is the People's Planet Parade, and we welcome all people, and we gather on the first Sunday of every month to come together and support each other and inspire each other and uh, work on actions to make changes on policy and legislation, and also to have fun and to know that there's other people like us who want to make change, and uh, there's many more of us, all right? We're the 99%. That's a lot of people. And so... Um, you know, we just, John and I do this monthly gathering to help bring, like, the joy and the fun and the creativity and the openness into the process. Because we all do a lot of work to help make our world a better place. But that work can sometimes be really stressful and really hard and really isolating. So this is a time when we can come together and have fun with flags, with the beautiful Earthella, which you'll see in just a moment that John created and, um, you know, just let people do something for the world that also brings us joy. So the, the purpose is largely to, to celebrate the earth mm -hmm. and, and the beauty that it truly is, to recognize what it is, and to raise the awareness and the consciousness of what our role is as evidence of this planet. So, yes, we, we definitely want to celebrate it we also want to rise up to, to defend it and to say that, you know, enough's enough with just this pillaging of our planet for all of its resources. We need to look at a, finding a natural and sustainable way of being here on our own planet. And so this is the beginning of it. So it's time to start right here in, in our uh, in the real grassroots community. And uh, so let's get it on. Yeah. 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 Thank you, John. Well said.
all learn that much later, or we can learn now. Yeah, the diet. Thank you, Doris. See, you never know what's going to happen at the people's plants, right? <laughs> <laughs> she she had to ball me. The six part round, she had her audience tell you six part round. Come on in and gather around. This is where we're going to gather and um, maybe make like a U-shape so that we can entertain you. Uh, so gather however you feel comfortable, social distancing. Please don't sit closer than six feet unless they're in your pod or you ask permission. <laughs> we want everyone to be comfortable with masks, without masks. Andrew, can you just grab that flag? So we're going to take just about two minutes to get uh, to get settled, and then we have a wonderful band, Mary Wilson and Friends. There are two of them out of their married Mary. Mary Mary. Oh, of course, Mary Fithian and husband. It's not Mary and Wilson. They just got married like what three weeks ago. Aww. Woo! <laughs> Mary fit the end. So um, we'll, we'll get settled in, then we'll have some music, and then we're going to have a very somber...
funeral for single-use plastic water bottles replete with little plastic water bottle coffins. That's right. So um, just find a good place. If, let me know if you need a bottle of water because I brought two extra in glass. that I can make an announcement on the behalf of Ann Arbor for Public Power. It's um, an effort to create a publicly owned electrical company right here in our town. Um, yeah, it would be uh, for the people, by the people, governed by the people, and we would have, you know, our slogan is we own it, we build it, we decide. So we want to make it 100% renewable by 2030. Uh, yeah, I guess um, I'm, I'm new to the campaign, but I guess other cities across the country have such a thing, and um, it's, uh, yeah, it's just a wonderful democratic way to uh, uh, green our energy systems and to have a real say in our future. So there's a fundraiser and um, just like an informational event uh, this Thursday, September 9th, 5 to 9 p.m. at Burns Park. Um, Yusuf Rabi, Representative Yusuf Rabi, yeah, State Senator Jeff Irwin, um, they'll be speaking, um, and there's going to be music um, with DJ uh, Dr. Ron, there's going to be a taco truck. Um, yeah, so come and learn how you can be part of this transition to a community-owned utility. I've got flyers here, maybe maybe I can put them somewhere, where, or maybe I'll, thank you, I'll put them right in the case, there we go, so hope to see you. Yeah, it's Ann Arbor Public Power. Power to the people! Power to the people! Thank you. Hey, I have something quick to add to that too. This whole system up here, off the grid. Okay? Woo! Off the grid. Yeah! Let's I just have to clarify that it's not necessarily environmentally perfect yet. Technology is all, well, batteries are batteries. You know, if I had magic, I'd do it. But batteries, off the grid, yes. And you can charge batteries with solar. So there's that. In my big voice. Um, I have another announcement, and we're going to get to the music about one to two minutes. Um, I'm passing around a uh, email sign-up list. We really, really would love for you to sign that, give information you feel comfortable with. We will not deluge your inbox with emails. Trust me, I barely even do email myself. You might get one to two a month. But... Um, Oh, I'm Megan. <laughs> Thank you, Doris. They call me me again. I can't hear you, Andrew. You have to come talk to me. That's Megan Sims. I'm Megan Sims with the People's Planet Parade. <laughs> but my play name is me again, because when you play enough, you become yourself again. So I highly recommend play, dance, music, song, and uh, et cetera, et cetera. So please sign the email list. There's a little choice at the end. Do you plan to come next month? We do this every first Sunday of the month, and it just will get better each month because we decided we are going to bite the bullet and ask our friends for help. So each month we're going to build our team, and we need your creativity and your talent. So if there's anything you want to offer, please let us know. Um, we're just two people with full-time jobs, and so we, we need a team and a community. So. Um, sign the list, please, and uh, next month's event is Sunday, October 3rd. And we're going to do this until we save the humans, so it'll, it may be a year, it might be two years, it might be 20 years, but we're going to have fun each and every time. So with that, I'm going to hand it over to the musicians.
There's a website, folks. Get a hold of the planet people right there. Megandance.com.
let's all take a deep breath together. <sighs> Friends, we are gathered here today to say goodbye to a seemingly innocuous but insidiously dangerous foe. The single use plastic water bottle. This is a dress rehearsal, Josina. <laughs> like many of our most destructive habits, the initial intention of water bottles was a good one. Clean, healthy, affordable water in a convenient single serving. We could find whenever. Guys, take a walk around the circle with the, with the coffins like we discussed. Single serving we could find whenever and wherever we needed it. Keep walking. Think of all the soccer games, the camping trips, the birthday parties in which everyone could have access to a healthy serving of water in a completely sanitary package. We'll just recycle, right? And recycling is good. Although we know that also has its price. Thank you, Paul Bear, as you may sit. But of course, like all stories, there is more to this one than meets the eye. Let's talk about the life cycle of a water bottle. Unlike us humans, the plastic water bottle has more than two parents. It actually takes three times its weight in water to produce one bottle. That's three bottles of water to make one bottle of water. It also necessitates a quarter of its volume in oil and a half gallon of gas to transport each and every bottle of water. The energy used to transport water bottles in the U.S. for a year could fuel a million cars for that same amount of time. Only 23% of water bottles get recycled. That means at least 77% of these bottles are not recycled. They end up in the landfill. Friends, help me imagine a plastic mountain the size of 60 billion water bottles, which is what we use in one year. I know I'm preaching to the choir here when I ask you, can we please consider not conveniencing ourselves to death? There are so many alternatives that we can just get with extra time, reusing glass bottles, a thrift store, etc. There are so many ways we can have clean water without buying sups. Let's extinct them before they extinct us. No to the commodification and privatization of water. The water of this earth belongs to us all. And those who have done the least to pollute it are the most vulnerable to exclusion of access. Join me next month as I build a plan to use policy and legislation to ban single-use plastic at the University of Michigan and the city of Ann Arbor. Change policy. So we yeah. change consciousness. We need to work together. We can be a model for the world like San Francisco, Concord, Massachusetts, and many universities such as Washington U and St. Louis, the University of Vermont, and just recently the George Washington University in DC that have taken this step to ban single-use plastic. Let's show our communities that when we come together, with a shared vision, we can accomplish anything. Let us say goodbye to single-use plastic water bottles and say hello to a future that doesn't fill us with distant dread, but instead inspires hope for the next seven generations.
opening up our hearts. She's about half dead. Letting the wisdom flow.
raise our voices at our distant souls to ours. Here we go. Breath. We gather here together with joyful hearts and Everyone. We gather here together with joyful because everything is earth today.
the earth is holding us all.
joy. Let the joy our state representative, Yusuf Rabi, who has joined us and is going to just tell us a tiny bit, a uh, snippet of the work he's already been doing on legislation around plastic and other things. And um, thanks. Thank you so much. Hi, everybody. So round of applause for the whole crew, all the music, the organizers, everything. Thank you to everybody joining us. Round of applause. Thank you so much. It was awesome uh, when she was giving the, uh, the, the eulogy, the, the music. I, I want that every time I give a speech. That would be fantastic. That was Andrew. That was Andrew. Oh, was it? I thought you were... Uh, no, no, no. We oh, okay, okay. I thought, you, I thought I saw you doing it. All right, everybody. Everybody's on it. All right, that's great. So, all right, so my name is Yusuf Rabi, State Representative. I'm just going to give you a quick preview of some of the things that we've been working on in Lansing around the issue of single-use plastics. Um, I'm going to give you the quick preview, and then maybe at a future uh, one of these, I'll give you more in-depth detail. But just so that you know, I've introduced legislation to the point that was made earlier around the privatization of our water. Um, there is a bill that I introduced to make it so that all the groundwater in the state of Michigan would be held in the public trust, which means that Nestle could not put their Ice Mountain um, bottles, uh, could not bottle that water unless it was in the public interest. There's very few scenarios in which bottling water is actually in the public interest, right? So making making groundwater a public resource instead of somebody buying land, owning the water underneath it, we're making it public. Part of that legislation is uh, closing the bottled water loophole in the Great Lakes Compact, uh, which protects our Great Lakes in the state of Michigan. There is a loophole that says, basically the, the compact says you can't ship water outside of the Great Lakes to go to... California or other countries, it has to stay in the Great Lakes Basin. But there's a loophole in that law, in that eight-state compact and two Canadian provinces ratified by the federal government, there's a loophole that says if the container is small enough, five liters or less, that you can bottle it and you can ship it anywhere. So now, instead of getting a pipe hooked up to Lake Superior and pumped out somewhere else, they're just bottling all of our water, putting it in these bottles and shipping it all over the country. So our bill closes that loophole, and it says you can't do that anymore. Yeah. Um, so we're working on stuff related to that. The other piece, Woo! the other piece is around the, the, the deposit laws. Michigan has the best in the nation deposit laws. When you drink a pop, you can take it to Kroger or wherever, return it, get your 10 cents back. Recycling uh, rates for those products are off the charts. Bottled water doesn't have that in the state of Michigan. We need to expand it to include bottled water, yeah. 10 cent deposit on each bottle, so that those bottles are then returned to the store afterwards. We're working yeah. on legislation to do that. And it's not just bottles, right? 
We have legislation to ban styrofoam in the state of Michigan. That stuff is crazy bad for the environment. It gets in the rivers, it gets in the lakes. It's really bad. We've also been working on legislation on plastic bags. When I was a county commissioner back in 2013, Washtenaw County became the first county in the state of Michigan to implement a 10 cent deposit on single use bags. So when you go to the grocery store, you're, you, you pay 10 cents to get that plastic bag. Now, unfortunately, uh, more powerful forces in Lansing, Meyer Corporation, Dow Chemical, the organizations and businesses that profit off of the sale of plastic bags organized their lobbyists and they passed a bill. This is gonna be ridiculous, but they passed a bill to basically say that local communities are banned from banning or regulating the single-use bags. That's not okay. So not that's okay. what they did back in 2013. That is still the law of the land. Now, we've introduced legislation to do one of two things. Either we have introduced legislation to repeal that so that we can do what we need to do in Washtenaw County. We've also introduced and drafted legislation that says, fine, if you don't want to do it county by county, let's just ban plastic bags in the entire state of Michigan. Yeah. So, We've got a lot that we're doing. That's all I have time to give you a preview of today. I'm going to uh, talk more about some of these issues um, maybe next month or the month after. Really proud to be here today, and I'm glad to be part of this movement and this effort to get rid of single-use plastics. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. I had a feeling people were working on this. Can we get his name again? Yusuf Rabi. Yusuf Rabi. Yeah, yeah, state rep. Thank you so much. They're going to do one more time. Oh, that guy gets my boat. Oh, God. Thank you. Thank you. So, um, Yusuf, you know, this one's sounding a little bit better, I think. So, Yusuf. Just to let you know, I'm also Yusuf, uh, and I'm also Yusuf, uh, and uh, I beat you to it because when when I was uh, elected county commissioner in Oakland County in 1970, I established a resolution to put 10 cents on cans and pot and bottles, and that's been on for all these years. Now these plastic things uh, are now need to be uh, reg regulated. So uh, two Yusufs are working hard at this. Yeah, right on, yeah. Yusufs. All right, please come on, come on and form a small circle. Come on over here. I want to remind you that um, we are on sacred land. Uh, we are on the land that was stolen from Native Americans. And I am a Palestinian, and the land was stolen from us in Palestine. So I know firsthand what it's like to have people come and uh, uh, kick us out and take over the land. So I want you to remember we are in sacred land that we have stolen from the Native Americans. What I want a pagan ritual in which we honor nature and the earth, not so much the deities. Uh, they created all kinds of gods and religions, each have their own god. But the reality is that the real god is earth, is nature. We come from the earth and we go back to the earth. And we need to do something every day to maintain the integrity of uh, the land and the earth. So uh, this is uh, where I... Uh, will uh, ask you to face the north when I'm ready. And after I say a few words, pay attention to the words. That's what's really important. 
uh, is the sound of the words. Uh, so at the end of my words uh, in the north, I say aho, you all say aho. Then we turn and face the east, and I do the same thing, aho, and then the south and the west, and on the fifth direction, we face uh, each other on the circle. So for now, let's start with facing the north. Great spirit of love, come to me with the power of the north. Make me courageous when the cold winds of life fall upon me. Give me strength and endurance for everything that is harsh, everything that hurts, everything that makes me squint. Help me to walk through life, ready to take what comes from the north. Aho. Aho. Great spirit of the east, light of the rising sun, let there be light on the path I walk. Let me remember every day that you give the gift of a new day. And never let me be burdened with sorrow by not starting over. Aho. Great Spirit of Creation, send me warm and soothing winds from the south to comfort and caress me when I'm tired and cold. Unfold me as your gentle breezes unfold the leaves on the trees. And as you give to all the earth your warm moving winds, give to me warmth so that I may grow close to you. Uh -huh. Great Spirit of Life, I face the west, the direction of sundown, let me remember every day that the moment will come when my sun will go down. Never let me forget that I must fade into you. Give me great sky, give me beautiful color for setting. So when it is time to meet you, I come with glory. Aho. We bow in homage to Mother Earth. Giver of our life, I pray to you from the earth. Help me to remember as I touch the earth that I'm little and need your pity. Help me to be thankful for the gifts of the earth and never to walk hurtfully upon the world. Bless me with eyes to love what comes from Mother Earth and teach me how well to use your gifts. Uh -huh. Great Spirit of the Heavens, lift me up to you so that my heart may worship you and come to you in glory. Hold in my memory that you are my creator, greater than I, eager for my good life. Let everything that is in the world lift my mind and my heart to you, so that I may come to you always in truth and in heart. Uh -huh. There is a seventh direction. It's going within. It's feeling centered. It's being at oneness with the universe and the earth. The, the universe sends us energies that flows through our chakras and into the earth and cycles again. This is the cycle of life. For this, I want you to stand with your knees slightly bent, your arms in front of you bent like this, with your eyes closed in total silence and go within and be centered for one minute. You can see a minute is a long time when you're centered. You have all the time in the world. So for this next position, this position was the me, the alone, the individual, the independent. For this next position, I want you to reach out 
and touch fingers, just touch, barely touch someone on the shoulders. As you can see, there is an adjustment when you go from me to we and we to me. Remember that me and we, like the, like the men and women, we are both the same coin on two sides of the same coin. Teach your children that the earth is our mother. Whatever befalls the earth befalls the sons and daughters of the earth. This we know, the earth does not belong to us. We belong to the earth. This we know that all things are connected, like the lifeblood which unites one family. All things are connected. Whatever befalls the earth befalls the sons and daughters of the earth. We did not weave the web of life. We are merely a strand in it. Whatever we do to the web, we do to ourselves. O oh, brother, father, mother of the cosmos, you create all that moves in light. Focus your light within me and within us and make it peaceful and useful. I mean, aho, amen.
that we can live in peace throughout the world. This is the uh, global global spending of the military around the world. So it's not just America, but all all military are designed to kill people, bomb people, and that's worthless. There, there's uh, the, the the expression. Uh, the expression of insanity is doing the same thing the same way and expecting different results. We keep causing wars and we expect different results. You can't have peace when we're waging wars. So I, everyone needs to start taking personal responsibility and make sure that we deal with this reality of peace. Thank you, Yusuf.